friend, Marsha Kish. Good morning. I would like you to take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. I want you to imagine a classroom where in the front of the classroom, a teacher is teaching a small group of students. In the back of the classroom, the students are working on digital content. It's a Khan Academy video that is matching what the teacher is doing in the front of the room. Turn to your right. What do you see? You see students collaborating, communicating, and creating projects. You turn to the left, and you see differentiated independent activities that all relate to what the teacher's teaching. The bell rings. The students moan. They don't want to leave. They want to stay in that classroom. How did this happen? With one simple thing, student ownership. What I'm going to talk to you today is about how to create that student ownership. It's not a vision, it's really happening. In this classroom video, you can see the students. They're working with a teacher. They're working independently. They're working on a FET simulation that is relating to the mini lesson that the teacher is teaching. In the hallway, the students are doing a Flipgrid video. And while they're in the classroom, they're doing a game of charades. Can you guess what this kid is talking about? What today I'm going to talk about is how to create that student ownership through three things. Relationships, the roller coaster, and release. Ownership starts with relationships. You have to build those relationships. I always encourage the teachers that I work with to do mini lessons. These mini lessons are going to encourage student relationship. It has the teacher, teachers engaging with them. It brings that human contact into the classroom where it's okay to ask questions. It's okay to make mistakes. And you know what? When you succeed, we're gonna high five you all the way through your process. We also include checkpoints, data meetings, on a regular basis, that one-to-one, -one, hey, how are you doing? Do you need help with something? That creates relationships. Now the next one, roller coasters. I love this one. This one is talking about when kids go through the process of ownership, they go through a grieving situation, just like a roller coaster ride, where at first they're in shock. No, this can't be happening to, ah, oh my gosh, we're gonna drop to denial. And then finally they surrender and like, wow, this is an amazing ride. And then they go to confidence and success. So now let's break that down. When we're talking about shock, the students go through a process of shock, like my teacher's not gonna tell me what I need to learn, I had to learn this on my own, to now they go into this process of denial. You're not giving me the answer? I had to figure this out? And then they go through this, you know what? No big deal, they build confidence. I've got my checklist, I know what I can do, I know who I can ask, I know where I can go. And then finally, success. When the students are working in this environment with ownership, they celebrate it. Like, yay, I just leveled up. I can do this. This is a process that happens, and we have to, as teachers, understand that. Now we go to release. We need to release the control to the classroom. But first, and simply redesigning your environment. Think about the places where you're gonna have it set up, where kids are gonna work and collaborate. Don't do that. Don't buy fancy furniture and have it still in rows, but instead think about things you have, laundry baskets, ellipticals. When you have those different types of learning environments, your students are going to want to be in that classroom. The next thing we're going to show you is a teacher. She's going to be teaching a mini lesson. When she's doing this, she's releasing the control to the students through a checklist. This checklist is going to provide them that ownership. When they get something completed, they go to the progression board. They mark it off, saying, I got this done. All of this is part of that release situation where kids can work where they feel comfortable. They can go and they can showcase their knowledge through Seesaw. That's a kindergarten student posting and sharing out what they're doing. This next video is a video of like high school students when they're learning about ethos, logos, and pathos, and they are creating a video showcasing what they are learning. They're taking control of their learning through those environments. We see students all the time with hands-on activities, being able to showcase their knowledge even through coding. 
My name is Marcia Kish. I just posted all that on Twitter. You can get all those links and resources. But the biggest thing is walk away with understanding student ownership comes from relationships, a roller coaster, and release. Thank you so much. Let's have another huge round of applause for those three great presenters, Michael, Ryan, and Marcia. I want to leave you with that last thought of number one on her list. No matter what changes with technology, no matter what technology you learn at this conference or anywhere you go, those relationships trump anything that happens in our world. The relationships you build with kids will lead to more learning than anything else. If you enjoyed these talks, I encourage you to come this afternoon.